Welcome back to 3 News at 5. The holidays are meant to be a time to visit with loved ones. Some you might not see all the time, but sometimes that means seeing people you don't always want to see. Yeah, tough but true. You know, every year Mike Polk Jr. schools us here at 3 News on holiday etiquette, and this year he's focusing on how to help us keep things civil while playing board games with those competitive spirits. Thanksgiving is a season of family traditions, and for the past five years, I've been gathering with my WKYC family to help them prepare for the holiday in various ways. I need to know whether or not this is a male or female turkey. <laughs> Would you like to hear it again? <laughs> this year, I'm counseling them on what can become a contentious activity at times. We're talking board game etiquette. What we're gonna do is we're gonna learn some board game etiquette uh, to take with you to Thanksgiving in case uh, you guys decide to play some games and you don't want things to get out of control. Sound good? Yeah. Mike, this is an intervention for me only, right? Pretty much. This is essentially just a soft intervention for, for Jay. We're gonna start by playing loaded questions. What is the dirtiest place in your house? Now, each of you writes that down. I don't write it. You have to it. guess who said what. Here they are. Here are your answers. One's turn around. Be gracious when other players make mistakes and accept your own. Thank you, Monica. Every corner. That was Betsy. Third floor storage room. Leon. Just a reminder, your conduct at the table should help others enjoy themselves regardless of what happens in the game. I think so far everybody's nailing that. What is the best thing you accidentally disposed of? Winter coat? Betsy winter coat. Someone said varsity letter coat. J My varsity jacket. A favorite VHS tape. Leon said VHS tape. Was it Howard the Duck? You got three correct, which means you get to move three, Monica. Wow. See? Whoa, 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 whoa. Rule number nine, assume that other players are honest and will play fair. I assume that that was just a mistake, Monica. If you were playing hide and go seek right now, where would you hide? Can I first complain that this is the most random, it is. <laughs> impossible question? You could do that, but for rule number six, don't challenge a ruling just because it puts you at a disadvantage. In the garage. You're in the garage. Behind the couch in Studio B. You're behind the couch. Under the turntable. Leon's under the turntable. <gasps> Listen, Jay, it's not your fault, but you were completely all wrong. What would you flaunt if you had it? A fancy car, intelligence, Jay. Is that intelligence or fancy car? Intelligence. <laughs> diamond earrings. Diamond earrings. She said diamond ring. But you have diamond earrings on. Girl, they are not real. <laughs> if you were stalking someone, who would be your prey? Here's who your uh, coworkers would stalk. Bono. Bono. Jennifer Lopez. J-Lo. If you were on a first date, what movie would be totally inappropriate to watch? Platoon. Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> oh. Fifty Shades of Grey, wow. I think if anything, you guys just showed Greater Cleveland how to properly behave at Thanksgiving board game night. Thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. And here's to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Some of the questions got a little awkward, but everyone rolled with it and played well. I want to- Who won? Well, no one really won. We all won by learning how to play together. Okay. And of course, just so you know, you were, of course, invited. He was out doing real reporting, so he he couldn't make it. I'll be there. Maybe I'll show up next year. Yeah, I appreciate it. But I'm a sore winner. Oh, really? That's... Even when you win, you dunk on people? When I win, I let people know I won the rest of the night. Because <laughs> oh, wow. they didn't already yes. but by losing. Yes. What a charming personality trait. So if we were to play a game tomorrow night during the football game on NBC, yes. I would let you know all throughout the game that I won. There you go. Well, then that would not be that would not be one of the rules that I would suggest that you follow. Maybe so. you could put that into the rule book for next year. You can't I be will. a sore winner. I'm going to say one more thing, and that's that I had fun playing with all of them, and we would have kept playing if we didn't have to keep working. Yeah. Would you agree with that, Stephanie? I would totally. Weren't agree with you that. working doing that though? Technically, I guess we were. <laughs> right. But I'm just saying, how many times can you actually say that about your coworkers? Most people hate their at least some of their coworkers. I don't hate anybody here. None of you. Not anybody in this building right Some now. Some of you I could take or leave, <laughs> but I don't hate anyone here. Okay. So Good I think I think that's I think we said our piece. Yeah, I think we all win, and then that just shows that you did a good job oh. teaching us those etiquette rules. Good luck segueing out of this. Yeah. <laughs>